Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna speak about Aegis, the shield of chaos. And we're gonna deep dive into each aspect of the shield and we're gonna go through what's the best builds for each aspect. And what I mean by each, the best builds for each aspect, this is based on the community uh, opinion and my opinion as well. So uh, it's not a must. Uh, uh, to to play that aspect if you want to uh, to play that build if you want to succeed uh, in a certain aspect if any build doesn't match your play style that's fine you don't have to leave that uh, aspect because the best build for that aspect doesn't work for you every player has a different play style but what in this video once you understand why that specific build is works best with that aspect and that build doesn't work for you, then you can come up with your own build uh, that m will match the, the aspect uh, itself. So having said that, let's get started. So guys, before we deep dive into the, the aspects, uh, let's just take a couple of minutes for all the lore lovers out there and just talk about the lore of the shield ages. Uh, Aegis is a shield that you see in so many games to represent a strong and a powerful weapon or a shield they represent ages and the ages got its significant because in greek mythology it was created by one of the primordial gods which is chaos himself zeus he used that shield or he chose that shield as his weapon uh, during the, his, the war uh, with the titans uh, after he they won over the titans they imprisoned and enslaved all the cyclops you know this huge giant uh, creatures with one eye and they forced the cyclops to create the strongest weapons for them so they created the trident that controls the seas for poseidon they created thunder for zeus etc and the shield was broken during that war and what we're using at the moment are just fragments of the shield this is how strong the shield was so enough about the lore and let's get started uh, there is something I want you to know about the shield because it's one of the strongest weapons in the game because of the block ability. So basically when you hold your attack and you're charging, you're blocking all the projectiles and some of the melee um, swings as well. And this is very strong. And the other thing is once you release, you will charge or you will dash. So also this, this dash is gives you a lot of privileges in the like whenever you're cornered in, in at some point of the game and like there, there is no way out for you. You can use this one to escape or to not escape to reposition yourself because positioning in the game is very important. Let's start with the aspect of chaos because this is one of my favorites. So basically after you fully upgrade the aspect of chaos, after using your bull rush, which is your charged attack, the next time you use your special, instead of throwing one shield, you'll throw five shield. And this is very powerful because with one single click, you can hit five enemies or you can hit one enemy five times with one single click this is how strong this is now the, the damage of the shield itself even if it hits a single enemy five times it's still not a lot but how we're gonna abuse this is by combining it with the right boons and having the right build for it so uh, that the three top uh, builds uh, with the chaos uh, with the shield of chaos is the first one is you can use Zeus and uh, you, each time you use it you, you can you will you'll be casting five different uh, thunderbolts and you know at the end game uh, once you get the legendary from zeus etc etc each thunderbolt will cause a lot more thunderbolts it's just gonna snowball into uh, something very uh, strong and you'll be decimating everything around you and uh, this is a recommended build for early heats as well uh, because you can easily climb up um, until maybe 10 or 12 or maybe 15 heats with this build uh, the next build is Dionysus poison uh, so you can use the, the shield to apply five stacks of poison in one click 
um, or you can just keep using it, spamming it and uh, uh, poisoning everyone around you, you know, just dashing around, throwing your shield and everyone will die off your poison. And also one, the third build and the, 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 the very strong build is using it with Ares uh, by getting uh, the Doom on your special. Uh, this way you'll be applying the doom on everyone on the map no matter how many enemies there is there you can first keep your distance be safe and at the same time th the doom damage is really strong especially if you combine it with uh, if you get all the necessary upgrades and if you combine it with Athena and you get the duo out of Athena you will be easily melting down uh, any boss you're gonna see when it comes to the hammers, hammers uh, doesn't really uh, um, boost uh, your um, damage, let's say, during the game uh, or your performance. They're not really significant uh, in the shield runs, but uh, whenever you get cross hammers, the best one that you should be looking for is sudden rush that will make your bull rush charge much faster, which will make you execute your special much faster as well uh, explosive return also this is a, a good one that will do a blast uh, damage whenever your shields uh, return to you uh, furious guard as well as fine uh, whenever you block an attack and you'll be blocking lots of attack you just get a temporary 20% boost uh, to your damage and also if you're going for a, a Zeus build like full Zeus build uh, Pulvar pulverizing blow is uh, is a good one as well because your attack will be hitting twice and triggering the again the uh, Zeus bolt a thunderbolt twice as well now one of the uh, hammers that you need to watch out for and make sure you stay away from is dread flight which makes your special strike up to four additional foes before returning basically this doesn't impact or doesn't affect at all uh, your special if you have uh, if you did the bull rush you will still do your special with five shields but whenever you click on your special and you cast your special uh, without uh, having the rush first it will throw away four shields and they will take so much time until they return back to you and you cannot do anything uh, well, uh, until these shields return back to you so and it's gonna take some time so this is the worst uh, hammer that y you you can get for uh, the chaos uh, the aspect of chaos so let's talk about the aspect of zeus this is the most fun aspect i would say you're just gonna have so much fun playing it and exploring it so basically this change your special instead of throwing your shield and bouncing back to you it will transform into a blitz disc that will once you hit your special it will travel to a certain distance meanwhile spinning and it will keep spinning and once you hit your special back again it will come back to you and the key to the play style here is once you once it's the shield is coming back to you you need to run away from it you need to kite it you need your goal is just to to to, to let it take as much time as possible before the shield comes back to you and at the same time having the enemies in the path of the shield so this is what i meant by having fun uh, this is also a strong uh, uh, aspect as well and with the right um, uh, boons you will have it uh, decimating uh, enemies now you can have uh, uh, there is two interesting builds uh, for this aspect and uh, one is you can go full Zeus uh, build uh, it, because it will keep spinning and each time it's gonna hit an enemy it's gonna throw a thunderbolt there so imagine how many thunderbolts are gonna be there and the next uh, OP build is uh, if you choose the Doom from Ares uh, on your special it will keep applying Doom endlessly on your enemy plus uh, if you get all the necessary upgrades for the Doom and if you get the duo with Athena you will see how you will be melting down any kind of boss as well now again for the hammers you can go for the pulverizing blow uh, just uh, uh, to make your attack hit twice in case you're going for either Zeus build or uh, Ares and Athena build uh, because the more you hit the more you're gonna have uh, effects of Zeus or Athena um, 
and also it's very important to get this one because this one uh, it will your attacks will not knock and for enemies away anymore and it's very important because uh, uh, you want to position the enemy between you and your shield right uh, so the more you so when you're running away from the shield the enemy will follow you and the shield will keep hitting the enemy but if your attacks knocks knocks them away then you they will easily get out of the path uh, also sudden rush is good just for you to reposition yourself uh, it will make your bull rush charge or your dragon rush charge uh, much uh, faster okay let's speak about the last aspect which is aspect of beowulf uh, this aspect is gonna change everything that you know about the shield itself uh, so basically if you notice the first couple of aspects that we spoke about it's based on your special uh, your whole playstyle is based on the special. In this aspect, it's different. It's based on your cast. Uh, so how this work, how this aspect works, is you'll be loading your bloodstones into your shield, and instead of having a bull rush, you will have something called a dragon rush. And wherever you your dragon rush ended in that spot, you the, the your blood crystals will explode, dealing effect based on whatever cast you have. So this means it will change all the cast within the game as well. For an example, if you normally go and get the cast of Zeus, uh, you'll be throwing a thunderbolt that will just bounce between enemies, right? Uh, if you're having aspect of the Beowulf equipped, uh, this will not be the case because you're gonna load this uh, cast into the shield and whenever you have your dragon rush charged, uh, at this, uh, uh, it will explode dealing damage to everyone around you and having the Zeus effect and same if you have Aphrodite cast or Ares cast etc uh, etc et now the best builds for uh, this aspect is basically uh, uh, the, the builds that will have the best cast or the most uh, 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 since any cast will not have any impact in the playstyle, it's just the damage, it ju it's just a number. Uh, so you need to go with the strongest damaging cast here. And uh, for the strongest damaging cast is Dionysus, uh, uh, Cloud, uh, or you can get the uh, Aphrodite Passion Flare. For Dionysus build, uh, you can also aim to get the duo with Demeter, which is the Ice Wine, which will increase the blast damage by 50%. Uh, this will add a strong uh, boost and uh, for aphrodite uh, the passion flare you can try to get to aim for the sweet surrender or the parting shots uh, to increase uh, another 20 to add another 25 percent uh, to your damage now another really interesting uh, build uh, hunter's flare so um, you have your flares which doesn't do a huge amount of damage like they do a relevantly good amount of damage but there is a chance that it's gonna be critical okay and if you get the heart rend uh, with which is the duo with Aphrodite uh, it will increase the critical damage by 150 percent uh, against enemies that have that are have the weak debuff so if you get the attack uh, boon from Aphrodite, this will be perfect because your rush is considered as an attack and whatever uh, attributes your attack have, it will apply to your rush. And you need to rush to use your rush anyways in order for your crystals that is loaded in the shield to pop up and explode. Uh, so once you do that, your enemies automatically will be weak. By default, they will be weak. Also, if you get the duof with Poseidon, the mirror shot, it will just cause another uh, explosion with 30% damage. Now, you need to keep in your mind just a small detail uh, regarding the mirror of the night and using aspect of Beowulf. You should always go for an infernal uh, soul uh, for all your builds, unless you're going to try the Enosis build, then you should go for the Stygian soul. The only reason behind this is uh, Dionysus uh, 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 cast, uh, it will cast a cloud and you will not get your crystals back until the clouds disappear, which takes some time. 
uh, and your ca your uh, bloodstones are, are locked, you know, you cannot get them back. That's why you need to go with the Stygian Soul. Uh, but for all the other casts, whenever you use your Dragon Rush and then you will deal the explosion it's from your cast, from your bloodstones, etc, etc. And, and they will immediately drop. And you can collect them again, load them again, and charge. Uh, so this is why the infernal uh, soul is good for any other build so guys that's it that was everything for the uh, shield for the shield guide uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was useful for you if you have any questions please let me know in the comment below or you can join me on my twitch stream and we can have a live discussion or we can try new builds uh, together uh, it's gonna be fun i promise please hit the like button if you like it it's gonna help more than you think and if you want to stay updated i'm doing all uh, the uh, another videos for the different weapons this is the the, the first uh, weapon i'm doing it for so it's a work in progress i'm gonna do next i don't know either the sword or the spear maybe the fists um so if you want to stay updated hit the subscribe button as well Thank you for tuning in and see you in next video.